Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Day here, and so for today's video, I'm going to be testing out my new lens, the Nikon 50mm 1.8 G lens. So far from like the few things I've done with it, this lens is amazing. It's a beautiful, it takes beautiful pictures, beautiful videos. And it's honestly spectacular. It is very expensive though, and I was fortunate enough to receive it for Christmas. And if you are fortunate enough to receive it from someone, then you are very lucky. But if you are considering buying this lens, please buy it. Do yourself a favor and please, please, please buy it. It is a So basically, in this video, I'm just gonna be trying to take some videos, some pictures, and just kind of seeing out how the lens works compared to my original 18 to 55 millimeter lens that came with the camera. So I guess let's just get started. I've already taken a few pictures that will be inserted right after this clip in this little area and this has quite some good bokeh considering the fact that normally the bokeh is quite bad and so this is just kind of like a, what it looks like and let's just do a nice overview shall we okay well that just blurs everything together that's not gonna work see I don't really know how to use this okay so keeping the doll blur blurred <laughs> That is how this little area looks. And like normally it gave you some decent bokeh and now it's, it's pretty good if I do say so myself. I do just want to mention that this lens does not mean automatic bokeh. I have taken a few pictures that remind me a lot of my regular 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Now obviously I know that as time will go on, I will get more used to lens, I will know how to work it more, but just want to really make that clear for you guys. So if you're really into kind of doing like a very close in-depth shot then this lens is perfect for you but if you're really into doing kind of more like far away cool shots the lens probably is not for you because it is very hard to get those shots and just like with every single time trying to bokeh if you go into an area that has more of it you're obviously going to get like better brighter bokeh but like if you have an area like this for example you're not really going to get so please if you have any tips for this lens please 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 leave them below because i do not know anything and the manual doesn't really tell you anything but like you know if you have any tips how to use this lens i would greatly appreciate so since this lens is 50 millimeters, there's no like way to kind of get it to be more close up apart from just moving your camera and your tripod. So that kind of sucks, but like obviously it's a 50 millimeter lens, you can't just kind of like go closer or go farther away. Also, I do just want to note that there's apparently an autofocus feature, but I don't really know how to enable that. I'm not sure if that's because my camera just can't do autofocus or because I just haven't figured it out or if the autofocus is just something that I think and then it's completely different on the actual camera. So if you do have the sun, please comment down below how this whole autofocus thing works because I'm you know, quite confused how it works. There is this button, not button, like on the outside perimeter of the lens, there's this thing which you can focus it like this to make like everything blurry or then you can, that's also everything where you can kind of like make it to where you want but it wouldn't necessarily like call that autofocus if you know what i mean but yeah overall i'm really loving this lens uh the area i live in is definitely not like a bokeh full area so i take a lot of pictures outside of my neighborhood and stuff like that but like for my neighborhood like let me just say this lens the bokeh it's given is popping can we just like look at her little cute face she is freaking adorable like look at her outfit <laughs> Yes, please. I would wear that. So, all in all, this lens, it's been pretty good. I tried taking some pictures in some places, but it didn't really work out. I was kind of going around my house, like the front of my house, kind of looking out. There's also tons of people and cars passing by. But yeah, like, I think it's pretty nice. Like, I would love some tips for this lens. So I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but yeah, like, it's looking pretty nice. So, fun fact, this is the spot where I took my first ever pictures of Lexi. <laughs> Also, I do just want to note that this lens does not by any means make your pictures a lot brighter or something like that because I feel like some people might think that, like I didn't think that, but I know that some people might think that because a lot of the AGIGers who use this lens, they have very bright photos, but you still need to edit that on or you need to like use the saturation feature on your camera that makes your photos just the tiniest little bit more saturated, but apart from that, like you still need to make your photos bright, like this lens isn't just going to magically like, boosh, bright photos. Okay, so I'm kind of using my neighbor's property right now, but it's Christmas, so like I don't think they're going to go out for the, the next few minutes. Also, the amount of cars that are just passing through the street right now, like it's Christmas morning, like it's literally morning, like what the heck are you doing there? But anyways, so this lens is really, really nice. Um, what I've noticed is that after you take the picture, the picture just kind of gets more like blurred after you take it from the outside, which I don't know if that's just me stupid or if it's actually something really cool. But yeah, I've noticed that feature and it's really awesome. like when we go from the video it's like this within the picture you guys just saw was completely different right so i didn't change anything 
but I don't know, that's just kind of something I noticed. I don't know if that's a thing. Again, if you have this lens, please tell me if this is a thing because I'm, I'm clueless, guys, help me. So from my short experience of having this lens, I don't really see it as a good way to take full body shots with lots of bokeh. Definitely if you want like a little bit of bokeh, you know, it's working out, but for like full body shots of your doll, if you want lots of bokeh, I feel like that would definitely be more of a 70, 300 millimeter lens. I don't know, maybe not, but it's great for just close-ups of your doll's face or obviously of human's faces too. Like what am I talking about? Just my dolls. Like again, all my friends out there, if you guys have this lens, please let me know how you guys do your full body shots for your dolls like that because I've tried a few and it just doesn't look as good as the close-ups. There's honestly probably a way because I've seen so many beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pictures of like full body doll shots with this lens. You know, I'm just, I'm just clueless again like I mentioned this whole video. Okay guys, so after using this lens, I have made my decision that I love it. It's great for videos too just because it has kind of like a more blurred background which I really like and I'm a big fan of. It's honestly an amazing lens and... Let's just say I will not be using my 18 to 55 millimeter lens in the near future. I'm so, so, so grateful for this lens. Like, if you're thinking of buying it, get it. If you're thinking of, if you're not even thinking of getting, just, just go buy it, you know? Um, if you're thinking of, like, getting a lens, go buy it, you know? I don't have really anything else to say apart from the fact that I love this lens. <laughs> like I've been saying throughout the whole video, if you have this lens, again, this is the Nikon. Uh, Nikon 50mm 1.8G lens. It is the pricier Nikon 50mm lens, but trust me, it is definitely worth it. And personally, just based on pictures I've seen of the Canon 50mm lens and this lens, I think that this lens definitely is much clearer. Again, it's popular because it's like $100 more pricey. But yeah, so basically, if you're thinking of investing in this lens, please do. And if you have this lens and you have any tips for me, please, please, please comment down below. I would love to do that because, you know, I'm going to be binge watching YouTube videos on how you kind of use this lens, but I would love to hear some tips for my friends because that would just, you know, make everything so much better. Okay, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.